Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Ebert. I'm about to say the A word quite a lot, so you might want to press that mute button, otherwise you're going to suffer the consequences, because today I'm going to show you how you can do this. Alexa, ask Soma to open the dining room blind. <laughs> okay. Look at that! Look at it! Look what it's doing! Ridiculous! <laughs> This works with Alexa, but it also works, rather weirdly, with Apple HomeKit. And nothing works with Apple HomeKit. Uh, I don't know that's true, I don't own Apple HomeKit. Uh, but if you are an Apple HomeKit user, this is the shade blind pulley type motor thing for you. Oh, perfect! Some gerbils have been in here. <laughs> what? Why is this here? That's not helpful to me. That's just mess for me to clean up. Mm -mm. More of these types of plugs. I hate these plugs. Stop it. Stop it. I am English. Looks a bit like a Raspberry Pi with a pretty grill. Cool. I think, oh, this is the thing that you put your, your roller blind uh, cable into so it can wind it. So this is the motor. That is the important part. That is what makes this thing so flipping clever. Because uh, I'll be able to install this somewhere without having to get any electricity to it, and that's kind of a big deal. That's it. I have no idea what that's for. Empty box. Let's go plug it in. So it turned out our curtain cord was made out of dust, and <laughs> that's why it's broken. So I've just replaced it with this one, which has just taken me about an hour and a half and a trip to B&Q. Very, very annoying. I've cut the ends because I need to connect this to it so that this thing will go on the motor, because I can't just put the string through the motor, as far as I know. So I'm just going to tie these to those and then stick the motor on. Look at that. You know I used to be a scout, right? You must know now, because that's a reef nut. This is what we English people refer to as gubbins. I have no idea what any of this does, and I, of course I haven't read the instructions because I'm a man. I don't, I don't read instructions, I promise. So apparently I have to take the top off of this, like so, touch this with my palm, and then it makes a noise or something. I know this just from guessing. I definitely didn't read any instructions, I promise. Um, so once you've done that, which I think I may have already done previously by accident, <laughs> Um, it switches it on, so it's now on, and it's waiting to be paired with my phone. So, I've got the Smart Shades app, and I think... There you go, you just put it near it. I don't know how that works, some kind of magic. But I've put it near it, and it's found my Smart Shades. So I'm gonna press Next. Attach this motor thing here to the Smart Shades, apparently. Ugh, scary! Wait, you're just going around and around. Stop doing that. Okay, I get it. Right. So I need to move that into position initially so I can get the chain around it. Yeah, hey, get in there. Get in there. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Stop it. Get in there. Stop it. Okay, stopped. Okay, it's in and everything is uh, reasonably straight. That is terrifying and brilliant. Let's uh, so just take this sticky pad off and stick it down, apparently. I don't think that's going to stay forever, though, is it? Is it? Do you ever really trust these things? I certainly don't. Is that straight? It looks pretty straight. It's well hidden by the curtain, anyway. It'll never be straight enough, Anisha, I guarantee. I feel like I, I ought to hold it for about the next 20 minutes <laughs> against the wall. That looks smart as balls! I'm pleased! I'm very pleased! That's configuring, apparently. <laughs> I didn't tell it to. Select a group for this window. I don't know. Dining room? Welcome to a smarter home. I feel very welcome, thank you. Done. Um. <laughs> oh, I love it! How cool is that? <laughs> no way. So it's actually going to set it to where it thinks it is in this image. Obviously, this is a pair of curtains. It is not um, a blind, but you know, it's, it's doing its thing. It's going to do it to where it thinks it should be. That is flipping awesome. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay, this thing needs to go inside this thing so that this thing can get sunlight and charge this thing. Simple as that. There's a little... 
knob here. <laughs> Dirty word. That has to go in the little knob. It is knobbed. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> and then we just hope that the British weather is enough to actually power this thing. Which it ought to be. We'll soon find out. Yeah, pretty raspberry pie. Let's go plug that in. Apparently, plugged in is all it needs because even with no ethernet connection, I can uh, seemingly find it via the Wi-Fi just by going to Soma Connect. I'm not going to show you that. Hmm. Is that it? Let's go find out. As usual, absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm presuming I'm going to need to open the Alexa app, that would be a good start, and search for uh, Soma on the skills store. Soma. Soma Smart Chains, that was easy, by Wazombie. Arg. Uh, enable. Soma Connect ID. Now this thing, I have written down already because I looked at the instructions. I didn't look at the instructions. Stop judging me! Right, so that was in fact the MAC address of the device when I connected it to my Wi-Fi, which is this. Successfully linked! Um, okay. Let's try it. If you're looking to just send a blind up and down, this is not the cheapest solution. This thing is. Uh, so this is a roller blind motor and basically it rotates the tube of the blind clockwise and counterclockwise so that it will go up and down instead of using a pulley system. Uh, it looks like I'm milking a cat. I've got nipples, Greg, could you milk me? So basically the Soma connector uses a pulley system which means you could do uh, blinds that do that. Um, and you could also do curtains like I've done, very light curtains. Uh, don't come blaming me in a week's time when you're trying to uh, open and close your enormous heavy curtains, because it won't work! Uh, so it's got that going for it. The other thing is, it was mega easy to install. It took like 10 minutes, whereas if you want the roller blind thing, that's going to take you all afternoon, baby. All afternoon. The other thing, and finally, is powered by the sun! It's powered by the sun. That is flipping genius. Uh, so if you're looking for a slightly more expensive solution, but something that is more malleable, then this is it. What's wrong with it? There is always something, unfortunately. This thing has a couple of them. So first of all, Google Home does not work yet, but it is in their laboratory working for them, and so it will be working for you shortly. There are two types of Alexa skill in this world. There is the one where you say, Alexa, open the blind. And then, unfortunately, there's this one where you say, Alexa, ask Soma to open the blind. And that's too many words. I don't want to use that many words. Uh, unfortunately, there is a much more serious repercussion of this. Because Alexa isn't seeing each individual blind as a separate device, it means we can't put them in routines. We can't have a movie routine where the lights lower and the blind comes down because all she knows is Soma is a thing. She doesn't know that that blind is a thing. That Soma needs resolving, and I think you probably know that already. I hope you've got that in the pipeline. Uh, audience, if you're listening, I hope you are, <laughs> then you need to just have a quick look in the comments section uh, or in the description. I'm going to write in there when this changes. When this changes, you will know about it. The third and final problem is there's no if this then that, at least not yet. Again, check the comments, that might have changed. This video might be really old by now. Uh, so basically, if this then that uh, not being present means there are lots of things that we can't do. Um, I can't create a widget, for example, on my uh, Android device. I can't, I don't know, have this change when the sun comes up or down. I can't do lots of things that it would be really cool to do with a set of blinds until if this then that is implemented. Again, check down there because maybe they've changed that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you want to help support my channel, then you can do that via either PayPal or Patreon. Again, links are in the description to do that. And let's hang out. I, I like hanging out with people, so here is my social media if you want to do any of those things. I'll see you next time. Now that can be done with... Uh, now this thing can be used with... Uh, no, it can't. Amazingly, yeah, and Google Home is shortly to follow, apparently. I'm going to start again. This is the blind shade for you. <laughs>
Go, go, go.